Hey guys, it's Spray and Prey here, and this is the 29th episode of my Mountain Blade Warband Let's Play. And in the last episode, if you look, we got ourselves into a little bit of a pickle, huh? Um, I have, we have ourselves here, the King Yorlik. Here, he should have about 300 men, so it's not actually that big of a pickle. Um, but they, we have ourselves, which is about 70 men. We can look at our, our party right here. Um, 79. And we've got our friend with 80, Boyer Naleg here. I'm wondering, yeah, King Yolek here, he's got 218, so sorry, a little bit shy of 300, not really, anymore, but they, we are surrounded by a pretty sizable group of enemies, and if they all jumped on us at once, we'd probably die, but so far, that's not happened, and we've only been fighting them, we've fought them one at a time, so we should easily be able to kill them, if they're so stupid. Alright, so who are we chasing? Why are they chasing those guys? Oh well, I just gotta stay with our party, and we'll chase them down. If our king goes to battle, we must go to battle. Oh, if this boyar Nalek goes to battle, we must go with him. Because we could get into a sticky situation. Oh, okay, good. Um, the uh, Nords have a non-aggression treaty with us. Good. So that we're already fighting a three-front war, so... Oh, he's changed marshalship. Oh, okay, that's fine. Yes, uh, who are we chasing down now, sirs? Let's talk to the king here. Because we want to talk to him, because he'll probably be like, we remember, we fought together. Oh, yes, good. We got a, a reputation increase with him. Um, huh. Good. That's it, I just wanted my reputation from you. Oh, he's fighting. We gotta help him, we gotta help him, king. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Okay, let's see how this battle's doing first before we join it, of course. Um, dang it, I wish we had a better angle. Um, okay, the battle is 77 versus, hmm, if we help, we should be able to help and win, so we shall. We shall get involved and help Boyer Naleg. We have 416 versus there's 217. In the fast few battles, we've actually pretty had a very high advantage because we our troops are way better trained than the enemies usually so we're gonna fight and oh we got we're gonna use some tactics here uh f follow me we're gonna have them all stay on this high ground here we're gonna wait until the enemy cavalry is riding upon us and we shall fight them here so what I'm gonna do though now is I'm gonna talk to my archers I'm gonna give them movement orders to stand right here and then I'm going to give my infantry movement orders to stand in front of them slightly. So, now that once my men come up here and the cavalry arrive. Now look at that cavalry. They're all running scared. We can, once they come start coming up this hill, we'll destroy them. Let's see, what's happening? Are they still all following? No, the infantry and archers should be holding. I wonder why all those men are going ahead. Huh. Um, okay. No, I don't want to retreat. Uh, everybody charge. Oh, sorry, crap. Uh, charge, charge. Now all my men should charge into them. Look at that, they're gonna run down that hill and just wreck those guys. Watch. Boom, boom. Look at that, the, all that blue. They're standing too far apart. The enemy should know better not to stand apart like that. We're gonna just arrow, prickle this guy up. Is this the enemy Amir? He looks like the Amir. Did I, oh, it was just a Swadian foot or a Serenade footman. Killed another one. Wow, these guys are so, so terribly trained. They're, they, our guys are much more experienced and elite than them. I don't understand why they possibly thought they could have defeated us. Let's see, what's our, our archers are staying up here. So, let's have our archers. We're gonna have them charge as well, so they can get the best shot on the enemy. Another enemy squad is, squadron is coming in. Back there, look at those those poor unequipped troops. They're just going to get just demolished by our guys. Why would you ever send these men into battle? Look at this. We're just going to be able to pick them off like nothing, nobody's business. These these units are such trash. Come here. Let me slice her back. I got off my horse because I, I'm not as good at fighting on my horse, honestly. As I, I should practice more so I could get better, but I, I want to get some experience from this fight. And I do best when I'm on my feet. 
The horse controls just feel clunky to me. Oh wow, I'm actually taking lots of hits. I don't know why. Probably because I'm not on my horse. Let's back up here. We do not want to force ourselves into an early retreat because that could end badly for us. So we're going to hide back here a little bit. Can we call our horse? Maybe we can just get on this horse. Oh, that's a nice horse. Well, it's got some low health, but we'll ride away a little bit. Maybe we can find some guys with arrows. We're going to dismount. We're going to pick up this. We got this shield now. This is a bigger shield, so it'll hopefully protect us better. If we can find an archer somewhere with maybe some arrows that we could pick up from him, this might do. Uh, can we pick up his javelins or something? I don't know. Um, we're hardly losing any men. This is so sad. These these Serenids are terribly equipped. Oh no, is this one of ours? I hope not. Nah! I'm the executioner. Ha! We've already won. Didn't even need to worry. Alright, look at that, guys. We gained six renown and seven morale. We've only lost four men. Sadly, it was three knights and one... Well, the tribesmen we don't care about, but the, the knights, those are a big deal. We lost three of them. We only... We had 20 of them, though. That's still a big deal. Alright, we still have... We have... Look at that. They had the advantage. Now we have the advantage. We're going to crush their souls. Look at this. Everybody, I'm just going to leave them on charge. We're just going to run right through their, their lines and just cut them to pieces. Let's move, men. Here, let's have the cavalry follow me. Cavalry, follow me. Because that's what we're going to be fighting, engaging them with. Alright, let's hide behind this wall, guys. Alright. Everybody. Charge. Let's do this. I just wanted to make sure my cavalry was all together. Look at that. They're just going to get raped. Because this horrible like, way to... If you're fighting cavalry, you want to make your troops stick together. You don't want to have them in a single line. Because, look, this this is what happens. You can just ride your cavalry right straight through them and kill them. Ah, look at this militiaman right here doing his thing. Our marksman. Oh, we got we gotta We got to get our freaking uh, archers to stay back here. Let's have our archers... Oh no, am I getting hit? Oh, okay, it's fine. Uh, archers, follow me. Good, because we don't want them to be doing something stupid. And just dying, because you know the archers, they got their lowest health, so let's have them just stay here. That should be all of the enemies, because they only had, they only had like 60 or something? I don't remember, but the maximum battle size is 150, and so that's, that's usually how you figure it out, is... Based on maximum battle size, how many of men of yours and how many of theirs can there possibly be on the battlefield at once? Now you see, you could go around and recruit all the little stupid recruits that you want in the game and have them as recruits, but I mean, if you've got more than 150 men, it, you've wasted their spot. Because, like, 150 men is the most there can possibly be in the game at one time. It'll, it'll only render that many. So if you have 75 great troops, then you could just, like, and no matter how many they had, you could, as they came into the battle, you could just keep wasting them and just killing them if you had some really good troops that never die. Oh, look, see, no casualties on our sides, and we killed 60 of them. Oh, my gosh. That was horrible. Yes, we've increased our opinion with Nalig. You're welcome. No problem. And, uh, sadly, one of them, they both managed to escape. Oh, and we freed Boyarduro, and he's in our debt. Oh. Um. Well, what happened? That's a lot of different stuff happening. Um. Ah, oh, we freed him, so it increased all of our reputations. Thank you, good sir. I've never f fought, forget someone who's done me a good turn. Yes, you should never forget. Ooh, we got a knight. Yes, good. So, because we lost our knight, we should get a knight back. I assume. Um. Let's see if we can find some. Wow, well, all these serenades suck. I guess we can trade in this. Eh, I think the infantry is better gonna get us more money oh well let's upgrade these guys <clears throat> we're gonna make them sweaty in men-at-arms because men-at-arms are cavalry and we want more cavalry of course and we have a sweaty knight now oh these sweaty knights are the bomb 
our knights are pretty good, but these Swadian knights are, are heard are the, the like the exquisite dish of the game as in terms of knights. All right, I don't see any uh, anything really that's worth trading out one of our guys for that we already have prisoner. So sadly, we can't take in all of it. Uh, oh, look at all this stuff, A scythe. Ooh, pretty. Okay, we're gonna get all this stuff. I can't wait until we figure out if we, until we can get auto loot working, because auto loot is so 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 helpful. Dude, Nathel's level eight. A lot of our soldiers should be ready to upgrade, or not. <laughs> That's sad. Oh well, Nathel is ready to upgrade though. Why not? Yes, Mathel. Oh, she's a woman. Look at that. Morale 82. Enthusiastic. Good. Let's see your skilled Mathel. Skills Mathel. Skills Mathel. There we go. Let's put another point in strength, and we'll put a point in iron flesh so you don't die in five seconds. One handed for you. Done. Let me see your equipment. Do you have any shield? Oh, wow. I can't believe you haven't given you a shield yet. Sorry about that, Mathel. Is your sword okay? Your sword's okay. What about your hat? 36? Well, is this better? 38? Uh, we'll give you the uh, the, the terrorist-looking helmet. Uh, these boots, so you don't have those stupid, ugly boots. We'll trade them, though, because they're the same, but they don't look so stupid to me. That's a personal thing. So if you guys think those look boots look cool and I'm offending you by saying they look stupid, I'm terribly sorry. Please don't hate me. Um. Alright, so... Looks like that's about all we can give to her. We're going to put all these arrows up there, because I think we want to keep those. Uh, good, 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 good. Oh, we have some bolts now. We'll save those because, you know, every once in a while we'll get a crossbow and we want to equip that maybe to somebody. Done. Never mind, we're all good. We've upgraded all of our men and ourselves is we're all right. Okay, good, done. All right, let's center the map a little bit better. Um, routed enemies running from us. King Yorlick. We'll chase these guys down too. Why not? We'll chase them down with the king. Oh god, they're taking they're attacking Sholas? No, I'm not gonna let them take Sholas. It's only fifty four men. Oh, sh come here! You're not getting away from me. I have like a million cavalry. I should be way faster than you. Oh, six point five, five point two. I'm gonna catch you in five seconds. I'm gonna murder you. How dare you hurt my village? Come here. Who are you? I am Lord Rhinel, and you will die. Yes, my fame runs before me, and I say this only once. You're going to die. 75 versus 54. We probably won't even have to micromanage our troops. But I will anyway. Follow me, everybody. <laughs> Alright, let's hide over here. Alright, we're going to have our infantry. They're going to move to here. Archers going to move back here. Cavalry. Let's micromanage the cavalry. We'll send them around... We'll send them over here, just just a little bit behind us so that they can charge in nicely. Uh, our archers are firing stupidly, so we're going to have them hold their fire. Until they come close enough. Until like, we can see the whites of their eyes. Okay. Mm Look at that line of cavalry. Our cavalry is huge. We should just decimate these guys. I want them to come in here and... Ooh, cannot wait. Alright. Looks like they're trying to find our cavalry first instead of... So I'm gonna have our men fire at will because they probably will be alright doing so at this range. And I'm gonna have our cavalry charge because I don't want to have them fighting anything slower. I'm gonna have everybody charge actually except for the archers. Alright, so let's ride in and help out. Um, archers, though, they need to charge, too, because they're not close enough yet. Look at that blue, guys. We were just tearing these t horribly trained serenades to pieces. I just one-shotted two guys in a row. We're just... Oh, there's nothing they can do to stop us. They're already running like little girls. Ah, there's our sweetie and knight. Sweden Man at Arms. Sweden Man at Arms. I think that's. Oh, maybe that was just a Man at Arms. I didn't know. Uh, 
Maybe we can shoot this guy. I would like to get his experience, please. Borcha, did you kill somebody? I hope you did, Borcha. I'd like to see you more, do more work. Oh well. We're all right. Ugh, my mouse is being stupid. There's probably like a freaking cat hair or something in it if you didn't see it wobble there. Oh, can I get him? Can I get him? This would be like a nine exper nine level ten shot right here. I'll just shoot him off in the sky. Maybe I'll get something lucky. Zero damage to horse. Two damage to horse. I'm probably shooting my own men now on accident. Uh, we won. Good. Let's look at that. We just wasted an army that was um, two thirds our size. So like we didn't even suffer a single casualty. Not even a wounded person. The that just goes to show how horribly trained these men are that are fighting us. Okay, we'll let them go though because you know what? We don't need a prisoner from here. We need a Swadian prisoner actually. So we're gonna let them go. We get some honor and we get some increased relations with him. Tigal Bandit. Why Why are they have bandits on their side? Maybe that's why they're losing. It's because they're basically just as good as the bandits. Ah, oh, we got another Swadian Knight. Sweet. And another Vagar Knight. Our cavalry is just uh, so awesome. Two more horsemen. Wow, we're just, we're just going to be like all cavalry. Done. Ooh, sweet. Two horsies. Good, we'll put that up. We're actually running out of food, guys. So we need to make sure that I remember that. Uh, we're gonna trade this here. We're gonna get these leg. These boots are probably better than what we gave to our friend. How's this armor? This armor sucks. I think we just put that there. Um, okay, that's done. That, we're done. We don't need all that stuff. Wait, wait. Okay, just making sure. Good, good. Some of our soldiers are ready to upgrade, and Sholus is finally, finally free. We have we are able to defend it once for in our life. Even though it was a huge amount of people. Oh, another Swadian knight. Wow. Another, okay, now we have Swedish militia. What the heck? Okay, horsemen. Wow, our cavalry is. We're just getting cavalry out though, everywhere. Cavalry, cavalry, cavalry. Let's go to Shellis. Let's ride in here. Wretchedly poor and miserable. Oh, sorry guys. Uh, we can get more volunteers. That's fine. Manage the village. Um, cool. We're building a mill, and it should be completed in 19 days. Leave. Uh, let's see. What's our money like okay we need to get some food let's see do they have any food here no just wool for some reason oh well. we can ride for Kudan now that we are not fighting off like an entire horde of enemies from our little fief let's make sure we're not getting sieged oh there's a tournament here ah oh, this is just everything's coming together guys everything's looking good up good for us now um we're gonna actually sell the stuff where we're supposed to because I believe you get a better price and if not it just keeps the shops more organized so I'm gonna do it for that reason even if it doesn't actually give us any more money so now armor merchant to sell all the rest of this crap soon we'll get auto loot guys and I know I'm probably not doing a good job at actually keeping my men upgraded to the fullest but once we get auto loot it'll do it for us so that's that'll that's something to look forward to um, good Good. We're going to buy some food, though, because we need food. Um, we should get about 4,000 dinars from this tournament, so hopefully that'll be enough to, for us to actually start and make our first die works for 10,000 dinars. All right. So we're going to place a bet on ourselves, and 20 to 3, that's not as the best odds. They're about half as good, so we're probably only going to get, like, 2,000 dinars from this, so we will have to do another tournament, and that's if we win even. Look at this horrible setup they've given us of lances and archers. Ugh, this is going to take forever. And it's freaking dark. Why can't it, why can't it be light outside? Why, why does it have to be dark? Oh, wow. Why am I taking so much damage? I feel like I was wounded before, and it hasn't actually given me my life back. We delivered 14 damage. Oh, this guy's chasing us with a knife. Ah, get away from me. I wonder if it's going to be like glitched like one of those other tournaments I've been in where um, I did the whole tournament with uh, without getting health regeneration in between every round. Maybe I was just wounded when we started and that's why I'm getting starting out so low. Oh, did we get it? Oh, thank God. We unlocked, we knocked one guy out, so we'll move on no matter what. It's fine. 
Even though we got knocked out. Maybe this way it'll give us our life back so we can start at full health, please. Uh, Alright, we're at almost full, so that's fine. I'll, I'll accept that much health. And then all we gotta do is knock out two guys with these st silly javelins. Shouldn't be too hard, we almost knocked this guy out. And we put those points in throwing, so hopefully those will be not wasted. Right, we want to kill our guy. I, wa I want to kill you. <laughs> Quit. There we go. Good, we got one. Maybe two now. I'll go for this blue guy here. Since he's next to his other blue guy, he's probably not going to be... There we go. We got two guys now. We can die if we want. If we accidentally die or something, it's okay now. Hey, hey, hey. Dang it. Come here. Try to, s try to stick me or something. Buddy. Get away. Put your shield down. Who said you could have your shield up? Ah, we'll just stick this lady in the back here. Stupid sword sister. Huh, just like a woman hiding in the corner. I'm just kidding, guys. I don't... I, women are perfectly capable of fighting in tournaments. In fact, if they didn't, I would be sad. Because some of my best partners are actually sword sisters. That's why it's okay for me to make fun of them. Stab in the back. Making me a porcupine, buddy. Oh, how dare you stealeth my kill. Put your shield down, sir. Who said that you could do this sort of thing to me? Don't you dare block my... Oh, my javelins. You, you dareth to block my javelins. You know, it would be nice if we got knocked out now so we didn't have to wait. So we didn't have to murder all these guys. Oh, good. Can we pick up his knife now? That'd be cool. There we go. At least we can now stab them. Because this freaking uh, javelin stuff takes forever. Good, we got him. I was a little bit curious as to what was happening right there because I, I thought we might have died ourselves. Oh, we got six damage on her. Even with this stupid little dagger. This little this little salad tosser. Hey, quit it. I can if I can't hit you, you can hit me. It's the rules. It's what the rules say. Nah. Yeah. Ah, uh, good, we can pick up some javelins maybe. I think our javelins were actually doing us more justice better. Oh, did we win? Or who are we still fighting? Let's pick up this javelin, this chick here. I guess we gotta get off our horse. Ha! Ah, we did it! And I'll another javelin for you, ye sword sister. Sword sister. There we go. Uh, we've won again. Place another bet on ourselves, of course. We're in tier 3 now. Hopefully we start out with a... Uh, God. Well, at least it's only 3 on 3 now, so it can only last for so long. I really like the tournaments better when they give you, like, a sword. But hey, you know what? This is not as bad as Lance, so I'll live. Yeah, there we go. We knocked that one. Come on, stab me. Pretend to stab me. Try to stab me. I'll just, just porcupine you. Idiot. Wow, what a moron trying to chase my... Good job, ally, distracting them. Have we lost any men? I feel like all of our men are still up. Ah, good, now we've got his back. Ugh, I wish we were more accurate with these javelin. Javli. Ah, we did it. And here's one for you too, my friend. Good. Okay, we place another bet. We're on tier four now. So if we wi if we lose, no matter how many other men we kill, we don't win. So four on four. That's strange. You would think that they would go down. You know, like yeah, the first round would be a bunch versus a bunch. Then it would go down as you got higher. It's not doing that apparently. I wonder if my horse will jump in this. Yes, it does. That's so awesome. 
Ah, uh, good, we knocked out another one. And we increased our throwing proficiency, so hopefully it won't be so wretched anymore. You know, like, we're slowly getting it to be less and less of a chore to kill these guys with the throwing things. Ah, oh, good. You finally actually did something. Here, have a javelin. Okay, good. Um, victory is yours, but we must fight some more. Thank you. For the, uh... No! <laughs> I hate lances. Oh well. Look at the, I guess I shouldn't say that I hate lances since I'm doing pretty good with it. I should be grateful. Ah, five damage. Good. That's fine. I mean, as long as we're slowly whittling away at them, eventually they will die. And our idiot archer is... Ex <laughs> it's a good thing that both of these archers are such idiots because they're both trying to, like, hit each other with their knives instead of actually using their little... their actual bow and arrow. Like, why would you be so stupid and try to use... Ah, look at them fighting with their knives. And they got perfectly good bow and arrows in their back. Alright, maybe if I hold this guy here, my friend will... Be a retard and look at the wall. Okay. So I guess I'm gonna have to turn around out here and ride in and hopefully I can get up still have enough speed when I stab him. And he doesn't block or do something stupid. Okay, we can chase him hopefully and hit him in the back. Oh god. Nine damage to horse, whatever. I mean if we kill his horse then he's basically just a glorified uh, like teddy bear running around with a stick. You can't really do nothing if you're not on a horse. 23 damage, fool, you should not have slowed down. I'm clearly a pro, you don't understand how to play the tournament. Oh, good, archery, you're actually doing some archery. But it's too late, because I just won the game. Or round. Alright, here's the last round, guys. All or nothing. Me versus a champion fighter, so not even glamorous, really. Oh, we got javelins. That's cool, I guess. I'll just wait right here and shoot him. Oh, yes, please turn your back to me, sir. <laughs> here, have another javelin, sir. We won. Ah, victory is ours. Money is ours. 2300 and ours. 2400. <sighs> so we could even, uh, we could even afford to build a brewery now or dye works, but I don't want to do that yet. I, we could, the reasoning behind that is that I would like to actually be able to have some money left over. Because if you don't have any, if your money is all gone, you're going to be in trouble. Oh, well. Um, you paid 960 to liquidate debt. Uh, that's fine. Oh, okay. I guess since, um, since we're using our treasury now, our treasury will lose money from, to pay for all this stuff. But since there's no money in the treasury, it counts as debt. But then say, oh, we have money actually in our coffer with us carrying it around. Uh, then they're like, oh, we'll just pay your debt from that. That's fine. So that's that's what it should be. Um, hopefully Shillis will start to pick itself back up soon. Since we've uh, wasted spent all that effort, you know, pushing all those men away. It will be okay. Hopefully. Now let's talk to the tournament master. We need to find one more tournament. If we get another, if we get a, a die works going, then we should easily be able to have a profit every week instead of a, ne a negative. So Jelaka, that's the only Amred is the one that's we're fighting against, so we can't really go there. So Jelaka is the only one. I'm pretty sure. Oh God, is it down here? Yes, it's all the way down here. Oh no. Um, huh. I feel like the Nords are doing really well for some reason. I don't know. Maybe oh yeah, that's they start off with three towns. And they've gotten four. Huh. These Swadians are not doing so hot. And the uh Sultante is still down there with its same amount of starting territories as well as the Kurhit Kurhante. And we have one extra city and the Norths have one extra city, and those are both from Swadians, so Swadians are two negative cities. Huh. So all right, let's uh, let's see what we can do here. We want to let's go to the Sea Raider Sea Raider landing quest. So if we run up to here and run along the edge of the coastline, we'll probably eventually find one. Um, okay, let's find some tree expired. Uh, wait, 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 what? What did it say? A medium-sized group? What does that mean? 
Does that mean the king is gonna go help me again? Or are we seriously? Is this seriously raiding? They're raiding us again. If this is the other people, I'm gonna be like mad. Um, Sholas has been raided. What? Ugh, good damn it. They killed our town. Oh no, okay. Who, how many is it? Se okay, they have 101. And they're Kerhits, right? Okay, so we can take them down. Let's fight them. Yes. Hello. Um, yes. No, I'm not gonna surrender, you fool. Is there no way to avoid the battle? Well, I guess not. Charge the enemy. Because we're bad awesome. Alright, we need to follow me. Now we want to get up to the top of this hill. Hopefully we can get up to the top of this hill before those enemies come. Because if they... If we get up to the top of this hill, we can ride down on the enemy. And that should give us way more... Come on, get out of the way. Get out of the freaking way. Alright, once those enemies get here... They should be salted by the... Uh, so let's check our cavalry and say charge. The cavalry should charge at them now. Now we're going to select... Okay, so we can close this. We're going to pick our archers. And we're going to have them stand up here on this ledge. And then our... What else do we have? Our infantry. We're going to have them charge. Okay, so we should do fine up here now. We'll just select everybody. Our Fire orders. Fire at will. Okay. Everyone should be fine now. We don't really have to do anything else except for help our guys win. Oh crap, we lost the horse archer. We lost the skirmisher, so they're riding into our, our lines of archers. That's not good. We need to get them off our archers. Maybe if I shoot at their archer. Who are we fighting? Where, are, where is he? Oh, there's an enemy. How did I miss? Oh, God. Hey, quit moving. I'm trying to kill you. Yeah, that's right. Get away from my men. Okay, looks like we're doing actually pretty good hiding on top of this hill. Um, wow. We are doing very good, actually. We, got a, we lost a veteran. That's fine. As long as we don't lose too many knights, I'm going to be okay. Here come the enemy reinforcements. Hopefully we can get some damage on them with our arrows before we run out. We're doing some good damage to them. Okay. Alright. So look at our archers, guys. We're just like mowing them down. Look at those guys. They're doing work. We're losing a few men here and there. But overall, looks like we're doing much better than them. Oh, you know, we are pretty elite, guys. I was not expecting this much of a... This being, us being this like good at killing people. It's a real real difference for me because in my uh, other campaigns I'm just I'm not been training my men as extensively as I have been in this campaign and I feel like it's just what's well, such a good idea to train them better I don't understand why I wasn't doing that earlier all right let's see if we can kill a guy or two now that we're all alone over here hey get away these are mine I want to kill them yes kill them both Put your shield down. Ah, we killed them too. Sweet. Got all that XP. So I'm going to go stand on this ledge. Here, see if we can't find any other men. Are they going to have reinforcements coming in? Because if they do, I want to call in, call back that cavalry. Alright, looks like we're actually done. Wow. How many men have we lost? How many have they lost? We've lost four men only. <laughs> wow, I thought we were losing way more than that. That's such a good surprise. They've lost 88 of their men. They're done. Yeah, we won. Sweet. Look at that beautiful sky on our beautiful victory. Okay, we lost four men, of course, like I saw. Good. They have ten men left, so let's finish this. And I want to be there to see it. 
We're gonna just charge in there with our cavalry. This should be plenty of men. We're gonna meet them head on. Oh, stupid shields. Good, killed one. Two, maybe? One more shot and he should be dead. Oh, freaking stole my kill. Oh, I'm not gonna get him either because they got in the way. Yeah, we won again. That was so fast. I told you guys. Uh, it's too easy. No casualties. We killed them all. All right. Since it's since we want him, you know, we want to get that honor bonus. Of course, you're free. Oh, and Voldrat, you got captured? Sure, you're free to go whenever you want. Ah, oh, thank God, we are increasing our relations everywhere again. Um, certainly, my friend. And I shall hire your men, if I can. I'll take your archers. Five of your archers. And we'll... I think this horseman's gonna be worth more than one of these guys. Is this... Nah... I think the horseman's there. Oh, the skirmisher? Yeah, the horseman's definitely worth more than that. Okay, so let's upgrade our guys before we get the experience from the whole battle. I think that's how it works. For some reason, you get more experience afterwards. If you, you'll see, there'll be, there'll be some more some more men ready to be upgraded even afterwards. Even after we f the full fight is over. Okay, so good. We've upgraded those men, and then, of course, I'll show you. Now, after we get all this crap, ooh, thank god, ooh, look at all this good stuff, guys. Loot's everywhere. <laughs> oh, and they're crudgets, so we get a horsey. Put that up there. Oh god, I'm gonna sneeze. Ah, oh, I turned off the mic for you guys so I didn't kill your ears, because my sneezes are actually very loud, and I'm sure I've accidentally let one slip into the recording every once in a while. If my mute thingy did not work, then you probably heard it just now. Okay, so... Hmm, is that That's all we can take, really, from them right now. Wish we had more inventory management. Ah, oh, look at that. We've advanced to level 19. Ooh. And Alien and Bahaster. Wow, that was a good fight, guys. We took on more men, and they that's what they get for fucking with our village. I hate them. I hope they die and, and they burn and are buried alive. I don't care. I mean, I should have captured them if I hate them that much, but you know what I mean, guys. I just in real life, you gotta you have to separate your hatred from from making the right decision, which the right decision was to let them go free. So we're gonna talk to Alien because we're gonna wanna level you up, sir. What's your skills? Yeah. Okay. You want? What do you want? What do you want? Um. Let's give him another point in strength so we can increase his toughness, you know. We want to get that 15, 12, and then these things just as high as they can. But once we get those 15 and 12, we'll be good. Done. Never mind. Um, our Invahaster. Let's see, what level are you now? You're level 7. Good. Uh, Bahaster, we shall put another point in intelligence for you and increase your training by 2 points. Good. So we'll get even more training from you. I'm pretty sure that how that's how it works, guys. I wish so if I knew for sure, but I think every single companion you have in your party who does more training, the more your units will level up quicker. Anyway, let's put our points into one hand. It's my friend. Never mind. You're good. You're good. Now we have the most important level up is ourself. Um, let's go ahead and do this in intelligence, and we're gonna get two points in inventory management because. <clears throat> if you if you didn't see in the camp menu, it says that to do auto loot, you need to have two inventory management. But that's fine. We've done that now. Okay, so let's make our camp and set our auto loot settings. Um, access items on the ground. There's nothing. So update management. All right. Well, we want our, all of our heroes basically are these guys on the side, and we want them to upgrade one-handed weapons, and they want to have a shield, of course. Um, there's musket and pistol and bullets, but those are for only if you have that mod, but we don't have those mods. And we want them to have a bow and arrows. And I'm going to apply this to everyone. And I'm going to apply upgrade horse and armor to everyone too, because I want them to do that automatically. Good. 
Done. Okay, we're gonna resume traveling, guys. We have cleared out all these bad guys. I knew sadly they, they raided our fucking village. I hate them. But you know what? It's not the the end of the world. We did lose some money though for some reason. I don't know why. Probably paying our wages that one time and maybe we bought some food. I don't I don't know, but you know, money just goes away sometimes. So we're at our arm or weapon smith, and looks like he's also the shield smith too. So we should shell our shields here, that the sucky shields. I know that all our guys have at least a resistance ten shield. And we can sell all these weapons too, because I don't think any of these weapons are any good. Um, this body armor is not good either. I know that our guys have some pretty good body armor, and who really cares? I should probably just sell everything because, you know, honestly, now that they have auto loot on, I don't really have to care. Because they'll do it themselves, and that's a great thing about diplomacy mod. Oh, go back. I don't want to. I I cl think I clicked the wrong thing. So let's sell these shields and get out of here. Let's check out the arena if it's not locked. Oh, good, it's not. And see if there's any more. Nope, still, still the same tournaments that we can't go to. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna finally go up here to Ravacheg and actually look at the Tundra Bandit. Oh, there's a Tundra Bandit. Right here. Oh, I don't have to kill it, so I'm gonna let I'm gonna let it lie there. But I do want to check out the Sea Raider hideout because that's what we have a quest for. We have like 50 days to complete it, but it's probably getting close to that 50 days. Um, behold the rock of rock of fire, which is strong fortune for my father, blah blah blah. Tell me more. Sure, I don't really care about it, but whatever. Let's find some sea raider landing hideout. Should be around here somewhere. Let's find, we'll fight some sea raiders. Maybe they'll help us find it after we kill them. Today the gods would decide your fate. Um. Yes. No. I'm gonna have my enemy. Um. Okay, guys. We're gonna take a chance here, <laughs> and uh, we're gonna order our troops to attack without us. And if we lose men, I will never do it again. Order the attack to begin. <sighs> okay, we lost five men. In two nights. Wow. What the heck? We're never doing that again. That's such a waste. We'll do crossbowmen. We'll hire that. To replace the men we got. We'll take these veteran spearmen as well. And our spearmen, I guess. One more. Oh, we got all of them. That's fine. Then, uh... Let's see, what what are these items? Oh, wow, those are some good helmets. I didn't realize how good those would be. Is this better than our helmet? Oh, wow. So, that's what's on the ground as of now. We're going to take these arrows for ourselves. And, um... Hmm. Okay. Return. Uh, and now we're going to let our enemies, our heroes, select from the items of the ground. Yes, I've done that and gather the 13 remaining items. Ah, oh, good. Shared experience. That was, that was a lot, I guess. I don't know. So let's continue looking along the edge here for the Sea Raider base. We're going to fight some more Sea Raiders here. Oh, Sea Raider landing. Here it is. Alright, so we're going to invade it. Attack the hideout. We can only take our most elite troops. Um, oh, God. Stop. Hold your fire. Hold your fire. Follow me. Okay, I'll, ch I'll change that command back once we get closer, but I don't, know I don't want them just wasting their arrows. They honestly could not hit anything, really. Don't know why they're trying to. So the enemy is all over there, so... Let's see if we can't spot one. There's one. If we can get him to just run at us by himself, that'd be nice. Should have his friend there, because he doesn't have a shield or anything. I wish they would stop walking so closely to me. So I could actually see. Ha! We did some damage to him. And get those guys to run at us. Cool. There we go. That'd be awesome if we could kill them all. We'll aim a little bit lower. Maybe we'll get below his shield. Ha! We're basically doing this by ourselves.
those enemies though, they will be a f formidable if they start approaching us. Alright. Um, fire at will. Fight them over here. Uh, it's, sorry about that, guys. I don't know why I was so quiet for a second there. I just was like in the zone trying to think. Um, oh well. Looks like our men are just wrecking them anyway. I figured that would happen. Uh, all the screaming and sounds of battle. I love it. Come back here. How dare you hurt my marksman? I'll slit your throat. Okay, good. Shoot him down. Pew, pew, pew. Eat arrows. Yes, there you go. Now you're eating it. No more arrows? Ah. Well, that's that's fine. Now we shall use our weapon. I guess he didn't even care about us. Look, he was like looking the other way while he was running at us. That's lame. I wish they they obviously underestimate me. Come here, you fools. I will cut your your death. Shall give me experience, and I shall level up, regardless of your pain. Oh, what? My guard was killed by a sea raider? Oh, I'm so angry. Good. Well, we got him. We got our revenge on that sea raider. It's okay. Do we get some... What's he throwing? Oh, there's some guy throwing his stuff. I was like, where, where is that sound coming from? Come here. Slice. Slice and dice. Yeah. Cut your head off. That would be so cool. I hope that in the new Mountain Blade Banner Lord that they actually have, like, dismemberment. That'd be awesome. Can we pick up these throwing axes? I'd like to have something great so I can throw it at them while I'm running. Oh well. Guess you can't get everything you want in life. What about these javelin? Can I pick them up? No. Why? I guess I'll have to pick up these barbed arrows. Ah, we'll kill this naked guy. Oh, there's two naked guys. How lucky. It's a free kill. Come here, naked man. I shall slay thee. Oh, you blocked my sword with your stick. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna get stuck from the back, man. I wouldn't I wouldn't look that way. Oh look at this! He's almost—he might as well be naked. He's got that stupid fur on. That's that's no armor for you. Yes, we won. Yeah. All right, now we get all their stuff too. Um, I'm gonna look at the items first because I just want to see if there's anything cool that I want. Um, and it looks like the answer to that question is no. There is nothing cool that I want. Um. Oh wow! It's actually not in the right order. Look at this. That's so awesome. I thought that it would be in a better order. Oh well. Looks like there's sadly nothing for us though. But our men should be delighted to see all those armors. Let's see. How are they doing? Okay, good. Done. Um, access items on the ground. Just I just want to look really fast just one more second. I want to get this food. Definitely. Um, hmm, okay. So we're going to return and we're going to let our men uh, do that. Wait, sorry. Yes, perform the upgrading. Okay, good. So they should have upgraded themselves. Um, and we'll pick up everything that we can. Okay, good. Um, now that we've done that quest, we should actually run to the... We're going to run to the castle here and ask the lady in the hallway, in the hall. So hopefully there's somebody here. Good. Is this the guy we did it for? Boyardoro? No, Boyardoro. Maybe he'll remember, like, oh, yes. Oh, dang. Uh, do you have any tasks for me? I have sensitive matter. Um, the fact is that he is a spy in Hamwa to keep an eye on things for me and report. Every week I send someone to collect the spy's reports and bring them back to me. The job is yours. Sure, I can do that. That's not that hard. Um, Hamwar. Oh. Um, is that an enemy place? I hope it's not. Uh, how do I get in? You shall have to use stealth. Okay, that's fine. Uh, 
Whoa, wait, wait, what? What? Okay, um... Okay, I know what to do. That's fine. I'll try. I mean, Mr. Doro, I don't know. I must beg my leave, sir. Oh, do do you know where... Here. I wish to know the location of... Who actually gave us our quest? Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Um, I must beg my leave. Uh, let's look at... Sorry, crap. I hit the wrong button. Oh, well. It's this one that shows up our stuff. Destroy the bandit lair. Boy, you're Mergia. Okay, good. So we did that. So Boyer Mergia. Now let's ask where he is. Excuse me, ladies. Do you know where Boyer Mergia is? Yes, where are you? You're being held captive at Sungutch Castle. Oh, I must beg my leave. Okay. Uh, at least that's not him. Let's leave. Okay, so what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to run down to Kura. Make sure there's no ransom broker. And what I forgot to tell you guys is that uh, in our castle, we actually can have a... Oh, King Norlick wants a feast of Raven? Okay, that's fine. We'll go to the feast, too. But anyway, guys, we can imprison that guy that we have that's just taking up space in our inventory that we can't sell to this ransom broker here. We can sell him to the... Uh... Can we sell this guy? No, we can't. See, we can't sell him. We have to wait till his faction makes an offer. So what we're going to do is we're going to put him in our castle. And look at that. Look at how much money we got now, guys. We're going to be... We're in the money. Now let's go to the marketplace because you know we got all that junk. Sell items automatically. Items in your inventory. Change settings. Okay, because we want to... Uh, Okay, food. I don't want to sell food. Where's food? Okay, looks like food won't sell. Okay, done. Um, Let's try it. Oh, see, look, it is it is more fortuitous for you or fortunate for you to sell them to the actual people who need them. Okay, so let's check out our inventory and see if everything got sold. So good, they didn't sell our horses. That's exactly what I wanted to not be sold. But they didn't sell all this junk either. So we should do that ourselves. Horses? No, we don't have any horses to sell. Um, armor, though, we might have. Some. Yeah, we do have some. And this food, we'll put this food up here with our other food. And move that arrow, those arrows over there. Um, okay, so let's sell all this junk. There we go. Okay, done. Oh! Herm. Well, let us think of something else. Um, oh yeah, I sorry, I forgot you're supposed to sell these at the weapon guy, not, not this guy. Uh, alright, arms merchant. Now let's sell. How much he got? He got lots of money, so that's fine. Good. We should be fine now. Okay, good, good. Let's head down to Ravidin. And we shall... I thought there was going to be a feast. What the heck? Is this the king here? Oh, good. Oh, some of our soldiers are ready to upgrade. Isn't that nice? Oh, another horseman. Another footman. Two more sp our spearmen are ready. We need to move these guys up above because we don't have we didn't have any of them before. So like of course the default is to put them on the bottom. Done. All right. So once once he gets there, the feast should start. Um. Hmm. Uh. The banner of your liege, King Yorlik, finds over it. Okay. So maybe now that there's wait, is that the king? No. I thought he said there's gonna be a freaking feast. Where's the feast? Um. Oh well. Let's head down to our castle, Derechios Castle. We're ready to be. Some soldiers are ready to upgrade. Oh, that's cool. I guess. Uh, continue. We're gonna manage the garrison here because look, we can actually put this guy in prison in our thing here. So we're not gonna have to carry him around and the chance of him escaping is like almost zero if he's in here so let's look at our garrison for a second we got a lot of veterans no no cavalry right because cavalry is a lot better because they don't have their horses if they're not in here so we're going to give all of our ranged actually men in to put them in here we're going to put our skirmishers in here too our, our nord archers our um 
our marksman. Um, that looks like it's going to be Force Bandit. Oh, we got one that can be upgraded. We're going to leave all our marksmen here. But we're, we should take some more some archers, I think. Now the spearmen, those are for anti-cavalry, so they're probably not going to be too good hiding in the uh, castle there, are they? No. Um, we're going to have... Hmm. So that's probably going to be it. We're going to take these recruits, though. Because these recruits are not going to... We don't want to leave them there. Why, why would we want recruits fighting? And this horseman we're going to take, of course. Um, we want the like highest, most elite troops here because... They're they're wasted if they're with us. They're wasted because they don't get they don't need experience anymore really. But these lower level ones would do good with the experience. So we're gonna take all this cavalry with us. Um, since we have more than we need, we're gonna look at our what's our guard. We can give them a guard. So we'll take another um, veteran, another cavalry unit. Even though they're infantry for some reason, we'll change them to I don't know whatever. Um. Let's, see. Let's just take a look at every guy and make sure they're... Yeah, there's none that are cal or not cavalry. Whatever. Um, let's see. Where, who are we going to put here? I don't see any guys that are not cavalry anymore. Oh, we'll put this crossbowman in. And we'll take this veteran. Okay, that's good. We'll leave this garrison here for a while. They have 85. That's fine. That's almost... Alright, that's the exact same size as our party. Bow your Marmon's running around. So, it's a little close. Oops. Uh, the, the Kingdom of Swedia and Karhante has expired, so maybe they'll go... Why are they, are they still all at war with us? Wow, we're still th at war with three factions, and we're demolishing them all. Um, That's sad, because they're terrible. They're horrible at fighting. Um, anyway... I'm going to resume traveling. Huh. I wonder if we should do something now. We should... What's this? Step in that layer? Nah, we're going to leave that. So, Hamlar is where we wanted to go, right? Okay, so we're going to go there. To Hamlar. Because that's where our quest is from Boyer Doro. So let's ride down here. Basically, if we find anybody out here in the open, we should be able to kill them. How big is the garrison here? A Hamlar patrol. Why would you have a fourteen, a size fourteen Hamlar patrol? Okay, there's three hundred and twenty-two men there, so we're gonna try to get in somehow. Oh, this is gonna be so hard. Oh, thank God they they thought we were. I did not want to get, you know, captured, and imprisoned forever in my entire life. Okay, townswoman. Okay, never mind. Let's just keep talking to random people until we find them. Eh, okay, sorry. I didn't mean to. I guess this is like the, the password or whatever. Let's track oh, this horse merchant. Um, so we talked to that one and that one. Maybe this guy knows who we are. Okay, so we talked to those three guys. Maybe this guy will know. Sorry. Um, this guy? Maybe this lady over here is a spy? Maybe, can we talk to the... I doubt it would be this one. Okay, sure. I don't mind my manners. I'm not looking for a fight. Maybe this lady here? Um, I wish we may perhaps have, uh... Made some more inquiries with Mr. Doro about exactly how this was done. Um, hmm. Cannot seem to. I don't see anybody really. Let's just jump around. Oh, I guess we can't go through here. Oh God, that was that was really weird. Noise. Uh, I guess we're we're really not supposed to go through there. I wish we could find this person we're supposed to find. Um, is this, can we go anywhere? He's supposed to be here. Um. Oh, there's like multiple things that we can try. 
Um, oh, that's probably why we haven't found them yet, because we haven't done all... Oh, what's your town? Um, okay, never mind. So I didn't realize that there's more than one phrase that we could try. I'm stupid. Let's see, does the quest actually tell us which phrase to use? Um... Oh, um, sorry, that's the wrong one. Meet a spy. Okay, he just asked us to. There's no actual words we're supposed to use. We can just use them all, I guess, on everyone. Um. We should just do a friend sent me, I guess. I don't know. This is horrible. I wish we could figure out who we were supposed to talk to even more easily. Oh well. Maybe this lady here? Uh, okay. Maybe you, Miss Townswoman, here? I have no idea how to do this quest, guys. I'm so sorry. I must look like a complete idiot and be boring you to death. Prison guard? Who's in prison here? Oh, never mind. That's cool. I didn't know you could actually talk to prisoners like that. No thanks, I don't want to enter the house castle and speak with the lord, that's silly. Uh... I guess I'm just gonna keep talking to random strangers <laughs> and uh... trying to get them to figure it out, or I guess say that it's me. Uh, I'll try doing a different one first because apparently they, I guess they don't like it when you're doing it first. Alright, done you, done you. Town's man. Okay, let's... Ah, good. We finally met him. Sweet. So let's leave before they catch us. And now our notes say that we need to return to Boyer Doro to claim our reward. Hopefully Mr. Doro is still back in his castle, Bulgar Castle. But we'll just run up here and stop at... Where are we? We'll stop in Rander Castle and hopefully there'll be a an ally in there that we can ask where... He is. Oh, look at that. That's a lot of experience that we get per day. We're cool. Wow, this is a huge freaking castle. That's awesome. Can we ask you, Miss Lady Harris? Um, I wish to know the location of Duro. Your Uncle Boyer Duro. He's currently at Bulga Castle. So that's where we'll head. Seems like a good idea. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to head there now. Let's go. Running really fast. <laughs> All right, we should be there in like two seconds. Almost there, and good, we're here. Now let's go to the Royal Lords Hall. And I swear, if you left, yes, he's still there. Now since I'm a boss, I'm gonna jump on the table. We're gonna walk on the table. Yes, I'm standing on the table. I have the news you wanted. Good, we got 500 dinars, 500 experience. Sweet. Do you have any tasks for me? Um. Hmm. Boyer Gasta, who should be currently at Jurid Castle. If you'd be heading towards there, would you deliver it to him? Sure, I can, certainly I can do that. I got 30 free dinars. Let's leave. He's in Jerry Castle. So we'll actually deliver that to him in the next episode, guys. Sorry, the map's being stupid, but don't worry about it. In the next episode, it'll be fixed. Uh, spray and pray out.